All right, so we're gonna do some arrows. These are just some basic, but realistically, like, uh, you don't need to have the greatest in order to do combat archery for the blunted tips and everything like that because we have so many opportunities to just break these arrow shafts and everything like that so you don't need to put the best effort into what we're about to do just a nice quick easy effort and everything like that but thus far haven't had an arrow fall apart yet so here we go <clears throat> now what you're going to start with is you're going to start with some watered down wood glue same stuff that you would use to uh, put linen on top of your shield so I got myself a nice little bowl right here of it. I prefer to use a glove, and I just cut off the fingers as I use them for the gunk. And basically, uh, works for me, but I've used uh, some brushes and everything like that, and they just work out just fine. Um, also, what you want to do is you want to spend some time prepping your feathers before this step because having to prep the feathers for each individual arrow is a long and time-consuming event, and it takes time. Me, personally, I like to prep them and put them in nice little Ziploc baggies and reuse them. And I've got all these already cut up and everything like that to size, so it's a pretty easy and simple task. So we'll get started here. Um, I like to have access to my feathers real fast, and we'll get going. Now, I like to start by putting a nice little tightening loop onto the shaft. I've got my shafts all marked out for how long the feathers are, if you might be able to see them, and vague places where the feathers go. That's always nice to have them ready and done. So what you do is you take your applicator, whatever have you, and get yourself a nice, good amount of wood glue on there you can't have too much just try not to make a mess but realistically you're likely going to make a mess so just get it all nice and on there it doesn't matter if you overspill or anything like that wood glue is just watered down wood glue is just nice and grody okay now you want to set it up so that it's nice and tight set it up so that your extra string here you're gonna lay that down on your shaft somewhere it doesn't really matter where it is because it's gonna get covered up and then what you do is you slowly start winding the thread on there and once you get a groove on it it's nice and simple it's just on there it's gonna keep this arrow going and you want to get it so that me personally I like to do about an inch okay and I keep the string on the spool so that I can just feed it as much as I need to now I got my inch right there you got the inch on there you want to take your feathers one by one place them in position. I take the first feather and butt it up on one of the lines so that the tip of the feather blade itself is touching with the um, inch that you just did. Now I go a little bit up so that it catches on there. You do that for each of the feathers making sure that you hold it in place Good to have a nice little thumb there to do it now from what I've found is that realistically you want the feathers to kind of go the same direction but again these are combat feathers so I'm not too terribly worried about it for high quality if I was gonna be hunting a deer or something like that with these arrows it'd be vastly different because I want to make sure that I don't make that animal suffer if I'm going to be hunting them, but I don't intend on using these for hunting, so we're just gonna do it so that they can fly straight at 30 feet or so. Now, once you got them all on there, nice and loose, you bring the line back so that it goes back to where your inch ended, and then you slowly wrap up 
the exact same way, nice and tight. Slowly wrap up to the beginnings of the actual frilly parts of the feathers. Some biologists can probably comment below what they're actually called, but you know, not the stems of the feathers themselves, but more like, I guess, if it were a plant, they'd be called the leaf. So now, I'm gonna try and do this so that you can see. I just take a little bit, and basically, what you're gonna do is you're going to begin to wrap up the feathers. Now, most historical feathers, they are nice and tight. Me, I'm doing, you know, like a centimeter to a half an inch on them. And you want it sort of tight so that the feathers are stuck on there. You wanna try and make sure that those little frilly parts don't really flare up or get stuck anywhere. But realistically, you don't need to worry too terribly much about it. And as you're going, you want to make sure that the feathers are on as straight as you can make them easily. Now the reason I say as straight as you can make them easily is because I know that not always is it easy. But you want it done easily because the next step after you get them to the end will be to straighten them. So you just keep on going until you reach the shaved down portion of it. You can see them right there. Just the nice little ends right there. You get it once on there. Now what you can do is you actually take the feathers and you pull up on them slightly, just barely, so that they sit properly. And that generally straightens out the feathers themselves. Okay? And you can move them here while it will stay on there because the large amount of wood glue that you put on there is going to... By now, it's a little bit tacky. You can kind of hear it. Where it's just tacky, so it's kind of sticky, but not really sticky. Now, what you can do now is you see all these little extra bits that are just sitting everywhere. You can kind of just give them a little yank. It's not going to hurt the feather too terribly much. You can also kind of pull them straight if there are a large group of them. Get them straight. And I like to give the feathers a little brush so that they sit right. Now, what you do from here is you wrap tightly again. Now, these being combat arrows, I do know that the knocks are one of the places in which dowels like to break because you've weakened the structure of that a little bit. So I like to leave about another inch on there so that you can have a chance to make multiple knocks should that be the portion that breaks. Now, you cut it off and you kind of just stick it back on there. Now, this will work, but me, I like to put a little bit of extra on there. Just grab some more glue, get it all nice and gooey on all the parts that you've wrapped. Because, why not? The more you glue it down, the more likely that, let's say, something should get caught on a shield or on a weapon or something like that and a single fiber breaks, the less likely it is that your arrow will break down. You want to try to avoid getting glue on the feather itself, but sometimes that's not possible and it really doesn't matter all that much. But again, if you were going to make high quality arrows, you don't want to get glue on there. But as it stands right now, as you can see, she will fly. And that's the quick and easy way to do it.